welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. Right before you are some older generational interracial couples. Now, these couples here had to go through a lot, very hard times. We're talking about couples who had to give up family, friends, community, jobs. We're talking about a time and place in America that had established miscegenation laws. Some of these laws were still in play. And we're talking about as early as the 1980s in certain southern states. Interracial porn could not be shown. Yes, these couples had a very difficult time in their unions. And back then, interracial unions between black men, white women, black women, white men, were the longest lasting unions. Now contrast that today, particularly with black men and white women, it has the least duration of any unions of marriage. It has the least successful marriage rate here in the United States of any union of marriage. Now we have to wonder what is going on? What caused the tilt? How can this be explained from yesteryear till today? Apparently, something has happened to the mindset of people who are entering these unions. This is what I believe. And we're going to get into that because today's unions, even though they're being presented as the most desired of unions that you should get into, as some type of beacon of hope, as some type of beacon of attainment that you should achieve to do, they're painting all this positivity upon them, when in fact, they're nothing like that. They're nothing like what they used to be back in olden times, so to speak. These unions today, in my opinion, have gone a very negative route. This is the rapper Maneo. And Maneo made controversy because he was on the certain daytime talk show. And he said some things that were surprising, but not surprising. And I'll let you hear what he had to say. I'm going to tell you right now, I've oh never talked about this. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, shit. Dun, dun, dun. I like to be like a runaway slave. Okay, no. Man, oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like to play like a runaway slave. Okay. I like to play like a, diso a disobedient slave with a white woman. So tell me, like, what you say. Yes, man. <laughs> I was sorry. I've, I've, it's, it's, two, it's, it's, it's two of them. Like, it's like me getting whooped, right? You get whooped? It's like, it's like I play like you whip it. But most of them don't want to play like that. This is this. Yeah, this I was gonna say, what white woman goes along with this? They don't want to play like that. They don't. Okay. Want, this is my. It's like, listen, you're gonna act like <laughs> your master's, your your master's uh, husband, uh, wife, wife, and I'm the runner. And I just got whooped by master for oh, eyeballing okay. you. Oh. But the whole time you've been really. You know, you've been, you, you like me anyway. you been eyeballing me. Oh, uh, this sounds like some freaky porn. I'm interested. Right, this is some freaky shit. And then yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna come all sweaty, right? Just finished getting whooped. And you're going to say, no, Billy Joe, no. No, Billy Joe, no. <laughs> Master's not going to like it. He's not going to like it. I said, you know you want it, lady. This is Keep old going. script. Yeah, it's old script. Okay, so you heard that. Basically, a slave role. He likes to role play where he's the runaway slave and she's the master and he's been whipped. Okay, do you see the connection here? That's pretty much the mindset with these unions of today. They're not based upon any type of mutual love, respect, understanding. And I should say, 
there are a small percentage of them that probably is, but the vast majority is self-hate, is self-disdain, is dislike, is based upon fetishes. And it's almost like the forbidden fruit. For a lot of black men, the white women was the forbidden fruit that he couldn't have. He could have been hung for that. All of a sudden now, it's free access to her. And with these relationships right here, there's just a lot of negativity that is involved around them. A lot of times these people see what celebrities are doing. They want to emulate them. A lot of people have so much self-hate within themselves that they don't want to reproduce a child that looks like them, that looks like their brother, their sister, their cousins. They want to reproduce the lighter skin, the looser textured hair, different types of features. They pedestalize that. They look at that as being a prize, some type of accomplishment. And it's really a shame that we as black people have gone that route. I would say this, that black men are the number one group of men who tend to idolize and celebrate biracial children. He says right here, a lot of black men are into that sort of thing with white women. It's like a fetish or something, LOL. Exactly right. Correct. Unfortunately, too many black men are lost. They've been brain damaged through slavery and all the ills that came out of that institution. And they have not had any type of reparative therapy to repair the damage of those systems. Now, here we go right here. Dennis Rodman, remember him? Former NFL player, was married to Carmen Electra. Yeah, that was back in the day. It wasn't as old as these other couples that I showed you in the beginning. But I want to show you something. He stated that Carmen Electra used to use the N-word when they were having sex. So... This type of role play, fetish, whatever you want to call it, I call it a sickness. It really is. You're connecting a role play of slavery, in Maneo's case, with a white woman. I, I mean, nothing about that institution to me should be taken into the bedroom. Nothing about slavery is sexy or should be eroticized in any way, shape, or form. Where white men were having their way with black girls who are 11 and 12 on up. Nothing about that is sexy at all. But you have twisted-minded people who don't see it that particular way. Okay, she was into the whole fetish thing, calling him the N-word during sex, but yet he stayed with her. Shows you the mindset of certain men. Remember this couple recently? She's a chick from Florida who stabbed him and apparently got away with it. But what was his mindset? His mindset was this. That he wanted a white woman. He wanted to have biracial children. He talked about black women. Or black girls in his class. Saying that they were too loud. Unruly. But yet he ends up with a white chick who's violent. They got into multiple fights. But yet he stayed with her. And was willing to have children with her. That just shows you the sick mindset that too many black men have today. That for some strange reason that we would allow this type of stuff, behavior, patterns to enter into our relationships, our unions, and be okay with it. That some of us would even go the route as to not having a problem with sexual role play. Wanting a white female to whoop our, our fanny. What kind of shit is that? Well, we are really sick and we don't really see it. A lot of people, because they are so are rappers, singers, actors in the entertainment industry, making a lot of money. They think that 
that success means that somehow they've made it and they don't need help mentally or psychologically. And nothing could be farther from the truth. Just to show, show you that we still have a lot of healing to do. And a lot of these unions today are porn-fueled, porn fantasies. Black men tend to love interracial porn. I'll do another video about this separately, how it's destroying the black community. But yes, black men love the idea of black men with white women and it's having a negative effect on the black community. But as you can see, and as many of you probably already know, that some of us, our minds are gone. Our minds are in a place, in a pit, that it needs a lot of help of getting out of. And hopefully, people will understand that and recognize that. The most important thing is that we recognize how deep of that in that pit that we are in, and we will seek some type of a help to get out of it. This is not to say that all interracial unions are bad or that people shouldn't do them. I'm referring to the mindset that many go into these unions with. That's what I'm talking about. And the mindset is very sick. And that is what we need to work on to perhaps get back to, of, of those who want to do this again, to the state that these earlier unions were in. More like a healthy balance, so to speak. More in a good place, more in a positive place. Some would say more for the right reasons, as opposed to what is going on today. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. And I will see you all beyond and through.